Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. This video is the first one in a new series that will talk about the cool stuff that you can do in R. Some time ago, I did a series with the most useful R commands, and I consider this series finished at least from my part that in my view contain the most useful stuff that you can learn or that you should learn if you are starting off with R, especially with use of R in genomic analysis. But R itself is full of wonders, full of marvels, so it would be a shame to ignore these just because you rarely need them. So in this series, I will highlight some of the things that I have found and I will start with the first thing I remember finding, well, some time ago, but it is a really good demonstration what can be done. And this thing is color extractions from pictures. This is also the reason why you are looking at the pictures of the great wave of Kanagawa and the wonderful painting of Gustav Klimt, the kiss. So this is how the R script looks like. The central package for us is the R image palette. So this is uh, the package that you need to install. So if you don't have it right now, so just use the install that packages and R image palette and it will be installed on your computer. Well, we use a tidyverse and Palmer penguins just for demonstration later on. So just to have a bit of a small plot going with the colors. But the main thing is this uh, R image palette that needs to be installed and then loaded. The process is uh, fairly simple. So you read the JPEG file. So I have these two uh, JPEGs in my working directory. So I do that after loading the packages. And if I really want, I also can check out the image in R itself with the display image uh, function. This step actually takes a few seconds, but actually you could see the picture here. And what we are doing, so basically what we want is for this R package to pick the colors from this, uh, from this picture. So this we do with the image underscore palette option, and we will apply this to this image file that we just loaded. And then we want to pick 20 colors for this example. Of course, you can modify this number. You can have more or less as you want. After extracting the colors, we visualize them and basically it comes up in this nice grid with the codes for each color inside the grid. So for example, you want to use this darkest blue color in your graph, then you know that the code for this is likely this one. So I set up a very small example with the Palmer penguins and with a small histogram. So basically we fill in or basically specify the color here by typing this number 173654, run this part, and then we have uh, the color of the histogram according to the great grave of Kanagawa picture. Rerunning the same thing with any picture is really easy. For example, you want to use the beautiful golden colors of the KISS painting. So you just load that image file, run the scales, and now you have the colors extracted from the picture as codes for your R plots. And if you want to use one of the golden colors of Gustav Klimt, you just have to do one thing, and that is to type in the number or the code rather to your script rerun, and then you have the color in your R graphs. So this was just a quick example how you can use this. Also what comes to my mind, for example, if you want to do your entire presentation in the colors of your favorite sports team, what you need to do, just get a picture of their jersey, extract the colors, and you can use those colors in your presentations and in your graphs or wherever you want the very same way as I showed you in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any favorite packages yourself or some other great uses of R for visualization or for some other purpose. 
for now this was it for this video but this series will continue with other spectacular uses of R. So stay tuned. For now, I thank you for your time and have a really nice day.